Greetings fellow conspirators, Martyrsvale here, and welcome to TerraTech. This is an early access game that is currently being developed by Payload Studios, and it's available on Steam, so there should be a link in the description if you are interested. Um, but basically the game just consists of building and upgrading your tech using pieces that you scavenge from uh, your enemies that you destroy, like we see here in the background. Um, and like I said, it is an early access game, so expect glitches, expect bugs, expect changes as we go along here. But it's a very fun game I found, uh, just the gathering resources and building a better tech and eventually sort of dominating one area of the map and being an unassailable uh, <laughs> machine. That's, that's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here with our game. So we're just going to randomize the seed, uh, that one looks nice, and get started. Alright, so here we're dropping in from space onto a new planet. Uh-oh. Uh, mayday, mayday, guys. <laughs> um, crash landing imminent. Initiate emergency salvage protocol. As we fly by the logo and... Oh, explode. Ouch. And that looked like it hurt. Uh, luckily, we survived, I think. And so here is our cab. It's a bit banged up, but we made it. Um, so this is the most important block in a tech, it's what allows us to control it, and if it gets blown up, then we're gone. Uh, that's game over. So, we want to protect it, and to do that we're going to add a little bit onto it. Uh, we've also got some other special blocks that we can use, like these wheels that allow us to move. Uh, that is generally a nice function to have in your techs. Also, we want to be able to defend ourselves, so we've got this gun here, we'll put that on top. and. Collecting resources is also kind of nice, so we'll put that on front. There we go, there's our basic tech. So now we can take it out for a spin, make sure everything still works. So yep, we've got uh, all the functions that we would expect. We can drive around, we can go all Dukes of Hazard and pull some crazy moves. Yeah, very nice. Uh, this one handles pretty nicely. It's small and light, but fast and maneuverable and nimble. Cool. Uh, and of course, weapons, so hold spacebar. Yes, the gun works. Oh. And that's a good thing too, because it looks like we've got a bad guy who came in here. He's going to try to raid us, but not if we get to him first. Oh, so he's got a weapon himself. Uh, it looks like a laser, but that's actually not going to be very effective against us since he has to be firing straight for us. So we're going to kind of use our nimbleness to uh, dodge around him and try to... Whoa! Wheelie! Try to get him from the side so that he can't attack us. And we're really aiming for his cab. I mean, obviously we're not going to be able to aim that specifically, but if we can hit that, that would be nice. Oh, okay, so we've got a little bit of combat lag. Hey, a piece fell off of his ship. Let's go ahead and put that on ours. Nice, we got his weapon. So there we go. Boom goes his tech. Um, and since his cab is gone, we are now free to scavenge the blocks that he had. So hey, let's go ahead and put those on our tech. Very nice. And not on top there. Silly. Put the wheel on the side. Um, and I think, well, actually, let's put this block here. We want to protect our cab as much as possible. So even though we can't really see forward, uh, this should be pretty good. Oh, and we have a little stabilizer wheel. Okay, that might be useful. Uh, we should actually put that on the front because uh, that's we're going to be more uh, front heavy. All right, nice. So we survived our first encounter. And now our tech is a lot more menacing. We've got two weapons, a bunch more blocks, more wheels. So uh, it doesn't look like we're quite as nimble as we were previously, but uh, we can still hold our own. And hey, we've got mini drill nose over here. Let's see if we can get this guy. All right, shoot his cab, shoot his cab. Nice, we got the drill off the front. Give me that, please. And looks like he's about done. Nice. So he's got these lights. Uh, we don't really care about lights. Lights are not important to function enough. But he does have some more blocks, which I will take. Great. He didn't have any weapons, though, so oh well. Let's continue on. So as you can see, we are no longer symmetrical, but that's okay. Uh, we should still be able to hold our own in a fight. Let's try to navigate whoop, through here without uh, too much damage. And here we have a little pointer thing that's telling us where to go, which is helpful. It looks like we have a solar generator, which is fantastic because free electricity. I love free electricity. So let's grab it, place it down over here, and this is a repair bubble. Oh, better yet. So if we hop over here, 
stuff should start flashing green and that means it's getting repaired very nice so now uh, we're fully repaired we can try to go seek out some enemies and build ourselves a larger tech so let's head over here toward this uh, point and remember where our base is this blue arrow is going to point us towards it and along the way if we encounter anyone uh, we'll try to beat them up and take their lunch money <laughs> so I see tiny shooter that sounds like he has a gun let's go see what he's got all right yes he has a laser it looks like did we get him all right come on can't be too can't be that hard all right nice so we've got him he gave us another block we're just gonna put that on the side there and what did he drop he has a laser all right let's make this symmetrical very cool and this piece is a little bit banged up so let's actually head back to our base for a moment uh, to see if we can heal up I'm using the term base very loosely whoops bad driver uh, because uh, right now it'll, all it consists of is that little repair bubble and a solar panel but those are super useful there's something over here but we'll uh, we'll see that in a moment I think um, yeah the, the, the beginning of the game is quite formulaic it's like a tutorial teaching you how to play all right so that is all set up so let's try to get find that question mark over here and see what's uh, in store for us now of course as we increase the size of our tech we're probably going to encounter uh, more advanced enemies and they'll be harder to beat so it's not like we're going to be encountering these puny guys for the entirety of the game uh, the, our enemies will progress along with us which is a good thing balance wise doesn't really make much sense but uh, I agree with it okay so rolling through the foothills here not a whole lot to see not a whole lot of enemies actually which is kinda nice there's one over there but we're just gonna kinda give him the slip because I think we're giving him the slip yeah okay he's no longer on the map but we have little thief who is oh he has my radar okay let's uh, let's get him hey get back here come on guy so yeah there is some stuttering during combat uh, that's just a uh, product of where the game is right now uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad I mean he's fast come on get him there you go he's backed up against a tree he can't go anywhere got him nice all right so he added yet another block so we can grab that uh, in case we want it later on actually gave us two blocks and he also gave us a radar oh very nice so now we can see a much more detailed map of where stuff is um, specifically we've got Minion of Big Tony and Return of Big Tony. I don't know who these guys are. Don't know quite who, know who Big Tony is, but we'll we'll try to defeat them all the same. Okay, it looks like uh, they're kind of ganging up on us. Let's try to split them up if possible. Oh, looks like stuff on my tech is about ready to blow up. Alright, so we lost a wheel. We lost a gun. But it looks like we're going to win the fight. Nice. Okay. So we've got a new part here. This is a venture right angle bracket. Oh, that's actually really nice So let's uh, let's pick up everything that we can possibly pick up That we could uh, that we could possibly want from here. So we've got another. Oh wait, is this a that's a new wheel? That's a dirt wheel. That's much better. Okay, so we'll grab that. Hey, put it on. Thank you What's this thing a another radar? We don't need another radar. We do want this uh, bracket though. Oh, and we've got another gun here. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's put that on the front. All right, that looks pretty menacing. Anything else that we really want here? What's this? Oh, that's another gun, right? Yes. Uh, let's. Actually, that's a laser. Uh, let's see. Let's put that on the front there. All right, nice. That's looking pretty solid. Uh, so let's head back to our base and get repaired up before we move on to our next quest. And I think what we want to do is find this trading station. Aha. Alright, that's good. We'll definitely want that. And you know what? We'll probably just bring our entire base with us. Uh, because, you know, there's not a whole lot in it at the moment. Hang on. I see a guy over here. Scanner Trike. Looks like he has a weapon. Let's see if we can... Oh, man! We obliterated him. From uh, pretty far away, too. Can we X, can we X out of that? Yes, we can. Uh, I think the devs are streaming. Anyways, what do we get from this guy? Got another weapon. 
and some of those same old wheels that we don't really care about. Although I do want that not on the bottom, I want the stabilization wheel on the back. Just to, you know, stabilize. Now let's get back really quickly, try not to get into any more fights because I really want to repair this stuff before too much of it breaks. So looking around, it looks like we do have one more guy who's going to be kind of close to our base, but we should be able to take him. Hopefully anyways. Or it's possible we might be able to go around him entirely, uh, which would be pretty nice. E okay. Doesn't sound like he's coming for me, don't hear the music, and he's not moving. So I am just fine with that. Let's get back to our radar bubble. Or radar bubble, our uh, repair bubble. Before, oh my goodness, before any of this stuff breaks. Alright. Nice. Let's get all the stuff in there. Good. Okay. So we're pretty fully repaired, it looked like. So let's see if we can grab this stuff. I want that and that. Okay. We can carry it. And I want to bring that stuff over here because we're looking for the GSO trading station um, and that's where we can buy and sell stuff. It, obviously, trading station. Makes sense. I'm not going to settle down too close to it, but um, actually over here looks pretty flat. I think it's a salt flat, so that might be a nice place to settle down. Kind of close to the trading station, but not too close. Let's get this thing out of the way. I was going to drive around it, but then I decided, nah, too lazy. Alright, yeah, much flatter area, which is going to be a lot easier on these beginner techs because they're pretty close to the ground, and as you can see, he's just bumping down the slope here. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of difficult. So let's head over here. This is going to be a nice place to settle. As you can see, the question mark is right over there. So if we just settle down right here, this is a, this is a pretty solid spot. Alright, so we'll grab our solar panel. Put that down, put down our repair bubble, and we're good to go. So it looks like, actually let's uh, let's put that down too because we don't need it for the moment. So it looks like there's a bad guy around here somewhere. Or is there? Yeah, okay, he's right behind it. Uh, let's see if we can get him before we try to get too close to that. Oh, he saw us. Oh my goodness, he's, uh, he's actually pretty pretty tough looking. Hmm, okay, let's try to get him from the side, I think. That's going to make the most sense. Because it looks like all of his guns are concentrated on the, f on the front. Oh, 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 he's moving. He's on the move. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Oh, God. Goodness, goodness. Run away, run away, run away. All right. Uh, we're just reversing across the landscape. Uh, he is still... Yeah, he's hot on our tail. Um, okay, looks like we left him behind it tiny bit. Okay, good. Now we can come in from the side. Actually, I want to go repair stuff before anything breaks. So let's head back to our base. Man, that guy is... he's a lot more advanced. Uh, we will take him out pretty soon here, but first I want to make sure that we don't end up uh, dead. You know, better, better safe than sorry, as the saying goes. So let's hop in here, get everything all repaired. I don't think we lost anything. You know, it actually, I think it makes more sense to have this stabilization wheel up here, because that's where a lot of the weight is. Alright, let's 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 see if we can take that guy out. He's right up there on the hill. We did do some damage, it looks like. Um, and, and we are, of course, going to come back to the trading station, but I want to see if I can get him first. Did he see us? It looks like he may have. Yep, alright, there he goes. Oh, goodness, okay, alright. Something fell off, I think it was from his... Oh, alright, we gotta get away, gotta get away. Alright, go, go, go. Okay, good. Uh, it doesn't look like we're, we've lost anything yet. And I think we're a little bit more mobile than he is. Yeah, okay. So we can really if we get around this tree quick enough. And start shooting. Nice, we can get, hit him in the back. And he's got some good stuff on him. And... Alright, come on, come on. Get him, get him. His cab is right there. Oh, it's ready to explode. Yes. Whew. All right, we did it. So, uh, license upgrade. Hey, nice. Good stuff. Uh, let's quickly go through here and see. Wow, he's got a, dropped a lot of stuff um, that I, I want all of it. So, actually, give me a minute here. I'm going to grab all of the good stuff off of this tech, 
and uh, put it on mine, and then we'll get back to base, check out that trading station. All right, man, uh, that was quite the haul. So some of the things that we got include this battery cell, which allows us to store up energy. Uh, we got a ton of different blocks and weapons, um, and we also got this shield projector, which is going to be pretty useful as well. So let's pop those things onto our solar generator. Right now it's not going to work too well because it's nighttime. Um, and I will reconfigure my tech eventually, uh, just not at the present time, <laughs> because we need to head up here to the GSO trading station. Even though it's nighttime, uh, it's okay, we've got lights, should be fine. Although it might be a tad bit dark on YouTube, but it's okay, we'll mostly be in a UI. So we need to purchase a tractor pad from this uh, trading station. So looking through here, uh, we have several different companies that make stuff. So this is GSO, that's the company with the gray that we've been seeing. Uh, but there's also Geocorp and Venture, which are other companies. And for instance, Venture makes this right angle bracket that we kind of want, actually. I might buy some of those if I get some more uh, currency. So the currency of the game is blocks bucks, maybe? I don't really know why it's not like tech bucks or something, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we want to buy, what was it, a tractor pad? Yes, okay, so what's this? That is a rotating anchor. That is not what we want. Um, perhaps we just gotta click through here. What's this thing? Wheel hub, okay, don't want that. Don't want weapons. Probably, oh wait, it might be in here. Is that it? Yes, okay, a thimble tractor pad. So this is what we want to start uh, getting resources. We have just enough money to buy it. Coincidentally, we earned the money, they gave it to us, so it kind of makes sense that we would buy that. Great, and now we can go destroy some rocks or trees to get the resources. Uh, let's, hang on first, let's pop that in there. Little secret, you can sell stuff here, and that's what's going to get you money. So, da 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 da, 30. That's uh, not a whole lot, but that's fine. Um, it really wants us to complete this quest though, so let's do that. So we need any of the destructible objects in the environment, like these crystals or the trees and stuff, they drop resource chunks, and then we can use those, um, we can refine them, we can craft with them, or we can just sell them. So let's, actually is that one over here? No, I don't think so, I'm not sure what that is. Um, but yeah, if we just hop over here, it immediately goes over there, and is sold, question mark? Yes, so six big bucks, block bucks, I don't know what it's called. Um, and, okay, how much do we need? I just I just did it. Maybe I have to, all right, these were dropped from earlier. Maybe I have to actually do this afresh. So let's uh, destroy this rock. It gave us nothing. <laughs> mean rock, let's try this tree. All right, so yeah, the trees, they, they usually drop stuff like that. And then we deliver these to the station, okay. So yeah, we just want to make sure that uh, we get our credit for doing these missions because um, that's sort of what allows us to progress forward in the game. So if we drop this stuff off here, hey, look at that, we can sell that stuff. Man, what would you call that? Block? It's probably block bucks. Anyways, so we've got that. I did what you asked. Are we done now? Well, I don't know. Um, Regardless, uh, let give me a moment here. I'm going to sell some of these leftover wheels and whatnot um, just to get some extra stuff, and then we'll make our first tech that's not just a an amalgamation of random parts. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to actually build one with a purpose. So can we move? We can still move. Well, sort of. What's uh, what's hampering me here? Hmm. I'm not sure what's uh because i'm pressing forward but i'm not maybe it's not all my wheels are in contact with the ground that's probably it yeah so again that's that's part of the problem here with having this uh just basic tech that doesn't have a uh that doesn't have a good clearance with the ground when the ground gets rough it's it's hard to move man i really okay there we go do it can i move backwards all right I will be back in a little bit, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got our block bucks in order. 200 we made from selling the stuff and buying the few things that I wanted, uh, which include these right angle brackets. So 
as you saw at the end of the last clip there, we were experiencing a little bit of difficulty moving over the terrain because our tech is so low to the ground and the wheels are so small. So the idea here is that if we just lift ourselves up in the air, we can put these brackets on the bottom. Is that facing outward? Oh no, it's not. Okay. I thought that was facing the right way. First time I was like, wow, that's first. So we're just going to put these brackets on the uh, on the sides of our whoops on the sides of our tech here. Oh wait, is that the right way? Hang on. Nope, I don't want you there. That way, okay. So we've got two more somewhere here. Let's put that there. That way, nice. And there should be one more. That's right there. Okay. So come on the bottom, please. Thank you. So now we've got these little brackets facing outward, and if we grab some of these better wheels, these are the dirt wheels, I think, yep. Um, those, well, this will allow us to have more clearance with the ground, which should be pretty nice moving forward. All right, so right away, once we've got that down, you can see we've got a lot of mobility here, and uh, things, are, things are looking pretty good. So we can continue to add on to this tech. Let's see, we'd probably want a few more blocks on it. Uh, let's actually, let's get over here closer to our original tech. We're kind of cannibalizing it at the moment. Uh, I want some blocks on the bottom, I think, to counterweight. Actually, that's, uh, that's not going to be helpful. Not blocks, necessarily, but uh, weapons. That's what I want. So that weapon on the bottom there. We also want this front-facing laser, because that's kind of cool. And we've got some machine guns and various things. We'll just kind of put them on. Actually, we'll put the lasers on the front. That makes the most sense. And we'll put the other stuff on wherever it fits. So we've got a laser there, laser there. We can actually put five forward-facing lasers, which is possibly more than I have. There's one more right there. And, ah, that's actually more lasers than I have. Hey, but that's fine. Um, and we've also got a couple of guns here. We'll just kind of put those on the back, I suppose. Because these have a little bit more range of motion. Oh, no, wait, I do have one more laser there. Nice. Cool. And, of course, we do want the radar on here as well. So we'll probably put that there. And we could put some of this extra stuff we got. So, for example, the battery and the shield generator. Those are really powerful things. Um, and actually, they're so powerful that I'm probably going to include it on my first tech. So let's let's put the shield here. And, man, where's the battery going to go? I like things to be symmetrical. So we'll just put that gun there. No, no, no. That gun has to go there. So the battery will go here. All right. So there we go. Here's our tech numero uno. Uh, it's got a lot of forward-facing firepower. It's got some defenses because this shield generator keeps us from being hit. It's pretty cool. Um, so, let me actually really quickly go look for a fight here before the end of the episode. I see a guy over here. He looks like he might have some new parts, uh, just judging from the way he's built. So let's see if we can hit him. Oh yeah, oh wow, he's super fast. Alright, let's 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 start shooting immediately. We, it's going to be hard to hit this guy, but if we do hit him, he's dead. So this is another company, Venture. It's, oh, well, that's gone now. Um, it's got some other pieces. What's this thing? a burn LED and we've got the regular blocks for this company they're lighter but uh, I don't think they're quite as strong we have these different wheels which are actually better than the ones that we have did that attach in the right place hey attach there please um, same thing with you because better wheels are better and okay we've already got the LEDs nice I will take these back I think uh, just in case I might want to have a couple more wheels whoa Wow, that's that's actually not what I wanted. <laughs> um, I think we need to have a little bit more length to our tech, but we can make it back to base anyways. So anyways, yeah, that is the first episode of Terra Tech in all of its glory, if you want to call it that, glorious. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and found it entertaining. Probably going to be playing this game a little bit here just to get used to it because it's pretty fun. Let's get this tech back to the way it was so it's a little bit easier to drive around and get back to base. Uh, next time, we will be doing pretty much the same thing we did in this episode, just going around, beating people up, completing quests, and uh, just generally developing a better tech. So until then, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.